So tonight I'm going to be working on how to make soundboards, or how I make them at least, in uh, Fantasy Grounds using Audio Overseer. And um, so I mentioned last tutorial that I was having issues trying to just basically get door sounds and simple things going off the way I wanted to. What I'm going to do tonight is do some more one shots for s sounds that. I will probably do a lot in my games. So I've got one shot set up as a filter. I'm going to be searching for doors. And then I'll do something like this. And what we'll do is we'll closing door sound. Uh, let's see what this one sounds like. I like that. Simple. Uh, so we'll put that there. Don't really need the door on the end of it, but and then we want a creaking door. I don't like that one. Let's try this one. That's the same one. Kind of sound the same. Oh, well, there's a different one. I like that one better. Making door open. Uh, what is crushing door? Oh, it's like a stone door that shuts, slams down. We'll put that in there. Stone. Opens. That is a weird door open, sorry. That looks like a stone door. Which open doors. Perfect. Got some different types of secret doors, secret stone door. What does this sound like? Put that one in there. Oh, here's a wooden door. Let's see what this sounds like. I think these are all just squeaking sounds. All right, so we got some doors. All right, so how about trap? Let's do some traps now. The just want to acid spew trap. Like that. Fire blast trap. Well, that sounds cool. All right, let's do one more pit trap. Sound like. Girl, I like that. All right. So we also probably have some other things like a lock. No pick. Do we have a pick? Yeah, picking locks. We only have two of these things. We'll just use them both. Oh, no teeth. Pick lock, unlock. Or unlock. Door unlock sounds like. Oh, that's got keys. All right, so and now let's do a couple of your sounds. What can we do? How? Well, 
that's weird. That's not what I'm looking for. Sounds like a moose. Okay, that's a little weird too. I just want a plain old that. Creature. What else can we get? Uh, I like Banshees. Banshee song. Okay, I like that. Uh, I know this one though, and it's kind of long, so you'll want to have a stop, and that's why I edited that to add the stop link. So I can shut it up if I want to. Um, there's also a stop all links sound that uh, I have shortcutted here, so you may want to do that. And if you search, um, if you're using the audio overseer, you'll see it. It's going to be on there, um, whatever you have. So. Assuming you're using the online player, um, I have configured one for the fantasy player, but unfortunately the fantasy players doesn't work. I've reported it to them and they're going to work on it. Um, if you're playing it through like VLC or something, there's no way to stop it uh, through fantasy grounds. You'll have to reach over and click it and stop it. That's what you want to do for those. Um, but these are, are all one shots, so you can set up some that are... Um, not their SFXs that have persistence, but um, I don't uh, just because it's easier for me to not have to stop everything whenever I'm done with it. Um, so, what I do um, after you've finished up making your little soundboard, um, you run export, select all these. Um, if you use um, author, uh, you can also export as a reference manual. Um, if you don't, you can just uh, make sure you click story so that it'll export the story. Up here, you also need to make sure you have these three things so you have all your things that go along with it. Your sounds, your triggers, and your collections. Um, and then once you're done, um, you can set up something like this. This is, um, I've already exported this earlier for something I'm working on for my games. We'll load that up. And then I'll show you what the reference manual looks like um, for me. And if you use author, yours will look similar. I have all these already set up. And like if I wanted to do a ship spell, I click that. Um, if somebody's sneaking around and they listen around the corner and there's something splashed around on the water, they go there. Or say they don't make their move silently, you can hit the pebble tumble. Um, or they knock over a glass. Or, or are they picking up money? Got all kinds of good stuff set up there. I've got a bunch of creatures already set up here. Um, like if they're uh, listening to a uh, door and there's some guards sleeping on the other side, you can uh, use the snoring guard. And this is another one of those long ones. It's kind of like the Banshee. You can see I've got to stop here for that too. I can just make it be quiet. Um, there is also Nightbird. And these are just some creature ones that I picked that I thought would be useful. Um, you can put however many you want in there. Uh, doors. I've got a whole bunch of different types of doors. Uh, this one I thought was really cool. It's the uh, opening the metal gate, but forcing it to open. Your men bars lift gates if you're... Yeah, sounds neat. Um, some portals. If, they, if there's some kind of magic portal, I'll use that. There's a bunch of stone doors, general doors. Somebody knocking on the door. Um, also have traps and locks. I just got every type of trap that was there so that I could just easily get to it. Open locks, pick locks. And then the silly stuff. Gotta have the silly stuff. Got 
Gotta have the bathroom here. And then this, I didn't even know this existed, but listen to this. This is hilarious. Yeah, so, um, you can have some pretty, uh, neat things. So if your players really are being silly, you can use those. But, uh, so that's, um, how you do it. Uh, it's actually just putting links and stories and using those stories to trigger your sounds. Once you have them in there, it's pretty easy to do. Just, you got to remember that, um, you are, you need to drag these links into your story entries, not this one. This is not what you want. You want the play link or the stop links. So, so that should do it. Hope this was helpful.